Hey guys, welcome to Sarah Salon. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, night, whatever it is to come and watch my video. Um, this is my first actual makeup tutorial, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. This look was all put together by me using this Wet n Wild packet right here. Um, so if you want to see how I did all of this wonderfulness, you just keep on watching. And that. So um, I always start, you're supposed to prime your eyes. Um, I don't have the type of money for primer, so I always just use um, my concealer, and I actually use this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. So I just put a little concealer on this brush again, and I'm just going to line my brow real quick. Okay, so... First we do the base, obviously, and I use this type of brush for base. Um, it's like, it's basically just like, it's a basic blending brush. Actually, let me, yeah, let me use that one. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into this one, the base. I'm just gonna take a couple dips. Looks pretty pigmented to me, so let's see how this does. And I go all the way up. I'm actually gonna use this brush very similar in shape um, for the definer and so we're gonna take a couple of Ooh. we're going to take a couple dips of this color there we are. and then we're just gonna um, we are gonna go in and start hitting that crease it's actually really pigmented nice So now I'm actually going to use this like, it's like this angled brush. It helps me get like a wing, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Sorry. Um, and then we're going to dip into um, the crease color. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we're going to dip right in here. Um, and then we're just going to... Hang it that way for and then start going into that crease. And then I'm going to bring back that last brush that I just used for the definer color and just blend that out. Okay, so they basically look the same now, more or less. Less than more, but... <laughs> um, okay, so now we're going to dip into this eyelid color. Um, and I'm actually going to use one of these brushes and then I'm going to dip into this bright pink. I really, I have high hopes for this one. Jesus! We are back. Okay, cool. So, I'm dipping into this pink. Lord, I knew something like that was gonna happen, like for real. Okay, and then we're just gonna go, literally. <laughs> oh my God, like what, what next? <laughs> literally, oh girl, don't get me started. This day has been, this day has been something. At my job, mm-mm, no. And it's just one thing after another, like, oh my God. Okay, so this isn't very pigmented actually. Not really, it's really not that pigmented, which is kind of disappointing, but you know what? Our whole theme of this thing is working with stuff. Um, yeah, we gotta work with what we have. So, all right, so I just got a little cup of water, a little cup, and I'm just gonna lightly dip my brush in there, get it a little moist, and then um, take it to my pink shade again. Make it more like of a paste as opposed to like a powder. And that generally, see how much, see how much brighter that is? That will do the trick. So yeah, once you add water, man, that stuff is pigmented. Water does wonders. And I know you can see this little line here where it really didn't get 
that's cool because I'm putting on liner anyway. I pretty much always wear liner, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how Anyways, it. so last step, last color that we haven't used yet is the brown bone color. So we're going to put some of that on real quick. Ooh. Okay, um, so I actually wanted to bring some sparkle into the... Anyways, not that the pink isn't like good enough, but I just really, if I can add sparkles to something, I'm gonna add sparkles to something. So what I do to apply sparkle, um, actually I'm gonna, what I actually do is I take a Q-tip. That's all you need. You need your sparkle, you need some water, and you need Q-tips. So I take my Q-tip and I get it a little wet. I got it wet in the water. I squeeze out kind of some of the water. I just kind of like run it over my fingers like that, but it's still really damp. Okay, and then I actually take some water and I like put it over my eye on the area that I'm gonna get wet. Okay, and that actually gets it wet. And that makes it so that when you actually apply the glitter, it will stay. So just I'm using it. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you just dip the Q-tip that you already used in. See, and it's already stuck on there from the water. Water does amazing things in makeup, okay? And then you just start sticking it on. Okay. Yes, we are. We are sparkled up and glowing for Jesus. Okay, wait. Amazing and all this stuff. I live by this Revlon Skinny. That is what? Come on, focus. 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 Stop it. Okay. Anyways, it's called Revlon Skinny. Or Revlon Color Stay Skinny. It makes a little noise like that. Um, this is, yeah, it's just black. It's really long and slender like that. And then when it comes out, that is the, um, come on, focus. I haven't figured out how this works yet. Oh, yo, that was so close. I had this tipped over. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways. So, okay, so it really isn't the best eyeliner I've ever done, but it's good enough. And of course, wouldn't it be that this eye came out way better than this eye? Probably because I was talking about this one way too much. But that's okay. You live and you learn. So, we got that done. And then now, I always do eyeliner on the inside. Like, always. I live by it. I don't know why. It just really brings my whole eye together. Um, so then we have that done. Um... The look's coming together. I actually really like that palette. I'm really digging it. So from here, we're going to do our face finally. Yay, we're here. We made it. Um, my concealer, I used the, not concealer, lord. My For my foundation, I used the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen, Bob Spectrum SPF 20, Antioxidant Blend. I didn't know it said all that. I just found the cheapest one. That was my skin tone, and this is what came up, but um, that is what it looks like. It is a little bit more liquidy. It's not like one of those cream foundations. And then I actually use, I also got this off Wish, um, one of these things. It's kind of dirty because I've been using it and I didn't clean it, but point being, one of these things, I got it for a dollar off of um, Wish, and it works the same way the other ones do. And I use this for everything but my forehead. For whatever reason, this one just doesn't work for my forehead, and I actually use a beauty blender. Where'd it go? Where'd my beauty blender go? Oh. I actually use a beauty blender for, like, all the other stuff and just, like, the little nooks and crannies, because this doesn't really get in the nooks and crannies. But, um, oh, and the color is Classic Ivory 10. So, yeah. So what I do is I just kind of, like, put it on there and I just go like that and when it comes off it comes off with like the perfect amount and then I just go in and I just kind of lay it down and then for this you have to use like a padding like down motion so you pat but you kind of like bring it down still but, um so again we're gonna be using our covergirl foundation and we're gonna look like um we're gonna do the whole Indian thing where we paint up our face. I just kinda, I don't really care what it looks like. I just kinda make sure it's all covered in that area.
I want them eyebrows to be dominant. Okay, cool. And then, and then we just take our beauty blender again, and then we blend. This fit is beat. Okay, cool. Now from here, um, I actually um, I use this Revlon for. For this, I use um, Revlon Photo Ready, and this is what it looks like, and when you get it off. So I dip into that, like a lot, and then I just start beating it in. I use a big flat brush like that for the purpose of like powder foundation or whatever they call it. I don't know the names of everything. I'm not going to act like I do. Um, and then I just start beating that in until I like the way it looks. Always get the neck Google, and I just beat it in everywhere. See how finished that looks? Like, oh my goodness. Okay, cool. So I use that, and then, um, sometimes, I, um, for now, um, I'm gonna show you guys. I also have, like, a little contour palette, though, that I actually got from Wish, of course, for a dollar. Um, and this is what, it, um, and then, yeah, so it looks like that. And I actually use this color the darkest one for um, contour and basically what I do is I take this little edge brush by the way I wish but um, so I dip into that dark color I just go in and then I just um, yeah see I just it makes like this perfect without even really having to blend it makes like this perfect contour freaking love it because these people people normally don't like when it like these because they don't think that they're very pigmented like, I love that. It makes my job easier. Shoot, I don't want to have to have this huge dark line, which then I have to, like, blend out. This actually makes my life a lot easier. Go up here. And, yeah, and then I just blend it, baby. Blend it. Bam. Yes. Okay. And then we're still going to dip into our blush because this really intensifies it. And I just dip, dip, dip. Tap, tap. Bam, bam, pop, pop. Okay, there we go. And then I just kind of like. <laughs> okay, let me stop. It just, it just blends right into that contour. Like, uh, look at that side. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. So from here, really, I'm pretty sure all we need is like lashes and then highlighter. And I'm actually going to do lashes first. Hold tight one second and I will be right back after I put these on. Hey. This, this is my highlighting palette that I use currently. And I only got this because my wonderful friend Addie, shout out to you Addie, she got it for me for my birthday. And um, as you can see, I've been digging in pretty hard to these two. These are the two that I use. I use those two combined with this white color. Um, yeah, and then this is the highlighting brush I use. It's pretty basic. Um, I don't know, it's just, it just works. Okay, and so I like dig into, I dig into this one first, and I just start piling it on. You can see it dust away. <laughs> and then I go into that light pink. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. It's coming along. Lord have mercy, and then of course you gotta do a little up and down the nose. I do a little right here, a little right there. But we're not done yet. I can glow even more. Um, just put a little on that brush and just, oh, oh my god, yes. Like, girl, oh my god. Oh my goodness, okay, here we go. Yes, 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 yum. Oh my goodness. Like, Jeffrey would be proud. I love you, Jeffree Star. Okay, guys. Um, so this is the final look. Again, all using this palette. And we did end up using um, this hot... Where is it? Wow. Okay, this hot pink. Went and wild as well. And um, thank you guys so much for your support, all my friends and family who are supporting me in this. And I love you guys. See you next time. And stay beautiful.